Hi, this is Jim Merritt with Quick Trainer Incorporated in beautiful Wilmington, North Carolina, and we are your QuickBooks and Accounting experts. This uh, short video is going to discuss um, setting up users and permissions within QuickBooks Enterprise Solutions. Now, we're working in QuickBooks Enterprise Solutions version 16.0, also known as 2016, but if you've got version 2015 or 2014, you'll be fine. Um, I don't believe anything has changed. So to start out with, you must be logged in as the administrative user of QuickBooks. I don't mean you need admin privileges. Yeah, I mean, you do, but there is a user called admin. And so you must log in as the admin and you must know the password um, because um, one of the things you have to do is re-enter the password. So it's not like you could have someone log you in as the admin and then they could walk away because one of the first things you've got to do when you go to company users, set up users and roles is you've got to enter the admin password um, to go further so I'll do that all right and here you'll see a list of your users and um, let me just discuss a couple things so QuickBooks Enterprise Solutions uh, unlike the QuickBooks Pro and Premier versions uses these roles and you assign roles um, to your users so here is the roles list that uh, these are the roles that come with QuickBooks Enterprise Solutions by default. Now it's possible somebody could have deleted these roles and maybe you don't see them all. Um, and then um, if you want to have a user have access to everything, you don't want to limit them in any way. Um, simply assign them an admin role, and we'll talk about how you assign that in a minute. And um, if you want to create a role, although when you click on these various roles, you can see that it gives you kind of a, a description of what these, uh, what you can do with these particular roles. Um, if, if there's something that just doesn't quite work for you and you want to create a new role, you click here, and then you just click the uh, the various icons or the various radio buttons here and then assign them you know uh, no or full permission or partial permission and if it's partial permission what do you want them to be able to do and then you give the role a name and it's a good idea to give it a, a brief description now I have seen circumstances where um, each user each person over here also had a role under their name. That's fine, that works. Um, but if you still have access to all of the uh, uh, default roles, um, it, there's probably one here that will work for what you're trying to achieve, okay? So let's say we wanted to create a new role um, for a user. Uh, we can give them a password, and I will tell you that you can just make it a temporary password, and then the user themselves, once they've logged in under the temporary password, can then go and change their password, and I'll show you where you do that here in just a second. So I'm just going to call this uh, pass123, pass123. All right, and then here is where you go in and assign the various roles okay um, and I said earlier just to sign on the admin the admin role yeah just don't tell me you can't do that um, only the admin can be assigned the admin role so you're limited to what you will see here but again let me go back if you need to sign um, if you need to create a new role you do that under the role list so we'll give um, well, full access, full access would most likely do it. Um, and then click OK. And then we click Close. Now, once I've logged in under that user's name, when I go to Company and I look at Users, 
We don't see it here because it's the admin that I'm logged in as, but you would see another option. Well, I'm sorry, here it is, right here. Company, change your password. That's where the, the new user could go and change their password if you've given them a temporary password. All right, I hope this helps, and uh, if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment or shoot me an email at info at quicktrainer.biz, that's dot B-I-Z. You can visit us on the web, www.quicktrainer.net, and um, you can call us, 910-338-0488. Have a great day.